Now that we've learned a lot about the history of wine, let's get down to <laughs> actually drinking some wine. So, Diane, when people come in, uh, they may not know what they want. You help them in the tasting room. Where I learned this is not from me. I learned this from all the five years of people tasting the wines. And I listen to what they tell me, and then I tell them the good things <laughs> about the wine. Yeah. Everybody has something to say, and there's always comments about certain wines that are the same that follow through over the years so it makes it pretty easy and you kind of learn to read people you read them yeah because um, if I came in and I was uh, gonna do a tasting I would tell you I normally like sweeter wines mm -hmm. I like like a Moscato or maybe a Riesling I don't really yeah. that would be so where would you steer me if I gave you that information I would start you like I usually do with our elderberry wine okay. which is a semi dry semi sweet a real dry wine people say, oh, that's a little sweet, but it's good, and then the sweet wine, people like it, so it, it's a cheese and crackers wine. And I, I was not going to leave today, Diane, until I found out why people put wine into the glass and swirl it around, and you, you're you going to tell us why and show us, right? This is our uh, black raspberry wine. Okay, that'll be a good and way to show us. This wine um, has a bouquet of flowers, it's just really, really nice. It smells like a bouquet of flowers. But it, uh, when you swirl the wine, and it brings out the, the bouquet. And then also, it, it shows uh, what they call legs, and uh, the amount of alcohol in the, in the, the palate mm -hmm. of your wine will come up and, and lay on the glass, and you can see. And it kind of looks, looks like, like it's little, like dripping. Yeah. Also, it aerates the wine. If you put air into your wine, it's gonna taste a little different. Okay. So if you have a really strong dry run and you wanna get some of that alcohol out of it and the bitterness, and it's not necessarily alcohol, but oxygen in. So there's, there's, and again, you can ask 10 people and they'll probably give 10 different answers. So, so a lot of this is just from what people have told yeah. me. I didn't read it in a book somewhere. Right. It's just what people have told me, so. Well, I always swirled this the wine. This has got the legs. And yeah. So pretty cool. I always swirled the Try. wine just to look very fancy, and mm -hmm. everybody else did it, but I didn't really know what I was doing. And then you see how you picked it up with your fingers uh -huh. just then? My husband just informed us a little bit ago that, let me see your glass, that you should carry your wine by the stem. By the stem. So that you don't add heat to the wine, because usually people serve it at a certain temperature that's best for the wine. Some's chilled, some... Our apple wine is best right out of a really cold refrigerator. The the uh, dries, they people prefer them room temp, and then most of the fruit wines are just you know out of the cooler. So if you're if you're going to sit around and sip on wine and you put it in your hand and hold it, you're going to change the the texture and the flavor of it, which is really weird because I never I thought all that was bunch of baloney. <laughs> Started. But in ten, in five years of doing wine tastings, listen to all the people that come through. Uh -huh. I mean, I've learned so much, and it's true. You can taste it. If you don't bring it slow across your tongue, you miss things. Yeah. And uh, I've had <laughs> I've had so many people knock it back, and if you knock wine back, it gets right at the top of your palate, and it'll choke you because yeah. the, the alcohol content and just and you can't taste anything. So you're, you're so, supposed to just sit. Yeah. You're sit. supposed to let it come across, and even swallowing it, it changes the flavor. Then I really I want to thank you and Rex so much for letting me come out yeah, here. You. Uh, you guys are so much fun and coming out here you learn a lot. You get to try out some great wines and I know you guys uh, really I told Rex you guys make this a labor of love and I appreciate that a lot. Well, thank you. I appreciate you. <laughs>